How is it going everybody? It is me, Ryan here, back again bringing you another NHL 14 Hockey Ultimate Team video. This time we're trying something a bit different. We are doing an NHL 14 Team Builder. I haven't done one of these before on my channel, but I've been, it's been something I've been interested in since uh, really NHL 13 near the end I got interested in it. I saw a lot of FIFA, FIFA people doing it and I thought it'd be sort of interesting to do for NHL. So. Let's hop in here and look at the team. By the way, if you're wondering, whoa, your team only has three and a half stars, it's because of the backup goalie. A lot of people believe, I don't necessarily, but a lot of people believe in a thing called Ice Tilt, whereas uh, the lower star you have, the better your players will play. So, um, I like, I, plus, I just don't want to use the contract. Let me show you here. If I throw in Andre Pavlich, there, yeah, you've got a five star team if that's what you prefer. So, I'm just going to throw the guy back in there because I don't want to use a uh, contract. So yeah, he's in there. Uh, there's my starter, Victor Fast. I've never used him, but I heard he's good. So, first line, uh, by the way, guys, this team is built for 99 chemistry. All you gotta do is buy all the change teams. I did not throw um, that included with the price, but you guys have a, about an idea. You can usually get a change team for around 1,000 or so, so it shouldn't be too hard to... Um, uh, a thousand times I don't want to do the math right now. So anyways, there's only two position changes on the entire team It is right here with David Krejci and right here with Joe Pavelski. So let's get into the team First line we have David Krejci, Ryan Kessler, and Jakob Borchek. Uh Solid combination overall, all right? This is where I spent a lot a lot of my pucks, which I didn't really want to do I wanted to spread it more throughout, but uh, you guys will see later on I feel like all the lines are really solid and uh, I didn't I just had extra pucks and I thought I'd spend it on these guys. So, uh, Krejci went for about 10, Kessler about 20, and uh, Voracek about 16, I think. So, that, that's looking like a solid lineup right there. Oh my, Kessler's face-offs are insane. So, I'm really looking forward to uh, playing with that line. Uh, 88 speed and 87 is on the wing. Next line, line 2. Look at this lineup, alright? Jordan Stahl centering Joe Pavelski and... Brad Marchand, so the 3 2 way forward line, and uh, look at their defensive stats, right? 85, 89, 87, and their offensive stats are crazy too. 87, 86, 86, 86, and 86, 87, so that should just be a crazy good plus minus line right there. Um, I'm just excited to play with that. <laughs> Next up, this is my speed line, line 3, that's what a lot of people do. On their third or fourth, they'll have a line where it's just speed. So, Here's mine, Mason Raymond, Darren Helm, and Neil Yakubov got 87 skating, 89, and 89. I would have put Mc uh, Michael Grabner there, but he is also a sniper, and Mason Raymond didn't fit. And playmakers are really hard to find on the wings, I, and they aren't necessarily too fast. So, Neil Yakubov was a good fit there because I didn't want to pay too much. So, this line runs you pretty cheap, and uh, they look solid, like... They're, they're a very fast line right there. Moving on to line four, we have TJ Oshie, Team of the Week, Brian Boyle, and David Perron. So this line is relatively cheap, uh, excluding the Team of the Week, Brian Boyle. The reason I put him in, you guys may be wondering, but uh, for some reason, I guess it's kind of stalkerish, but not really. I uh, look at the top team, at the top teams, hut teams, like the top players' hut teams a lot, actually. I go on the leaderboards and just see what people are running with to try and improve my team as well. And I see a lot of people with this guy. Team of the Week Brian Boyle is like run by a lot of the top hot players, so I decided that I'd try him out. Uh, his stats are pretty good, so I'm looking forward to trying it out with him. TJ Oshie, just a solid guy, like just solid stats all around. Two-way forward, which is hard to find, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing with him and David Perron on the right wing. Like I said, it's hard to find cheap uh, playmakers to go on the wings. And um, the center to, <coughs> excuse me, the center to winger um, position changes go for a lot, so I want to use as little of those as possible. So uh, that's another solid lineup right now, right there. On to the defense now. We've got Jay Bomeister and Zach Bogosian. I've used this lineup before, and these two guys are crazy. I have these guys on pretty much every defensive, um, every hut team I use. They're a defensive pair, not necessarily together, but those two are just common faces on my teams. Um, Bo Meester, obviously the 89 skating is something you really want to have. You want to have a fast defenseman. And uh, I like to, I sometimes only run two-way defense, but uh, a lot of them are getting pricier now, like Shattenkirk, I usually get Headman. Those guys' prices are rising because people are discovering two-way defensemen probably are the best way to go. So I've got Bo Meester there and Zach Bogosian with the, like, 
Oh man, this guy, those stats are just solid throughout. Bowmeister I find more a bit more talented offensively just because of the speed, but Bogosian's got a crazy shot from the point, and he's great defensively, great checking uh, from both of them. On to line two, we've got Mark Giordano and Eric Johnson. So these are two guys who are actually really good. Um, you can pick up both for around like 1,000, sometimes even less, and they're really underrated. Both 85 overall, so that's a, that's a good sign to start it off. 87 skating and 86 skating. Eric Johnson's really good defensively with the 88 checking and 85 defense. And we've got Mark Giordano, the offensive defenseman with still, still solid defensive stats at 85 and 86. So um, that's going to be a solid line out there, I can guarantee you that. On to line three. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have Dennis Seidenberg and James Wisniewski. The reason why I put Seidenberg in here, he's not usually someone I like to run with just because of the uh, 79 shooting. Uh, even if that was 81, I'd probably run with him a lot more, but uh, the 85 skating seems a bit low for a defenseman. I like to have them a lot faster, but since I was on a cap limit, I could only go so high. So I picked up Dennis, Dennis Seidenberg. His defensive stats are insane, but... um. But we've got a good counter to that as well. So right here was originally going to be Team of the Week was New Ski, whose stats are crazy good. But uh, I decided to pick up the regular one, who only goes for like, he goes for about discard value. You can pick one up easily for like 800 or so, definitely less than 1,000. And uh, he's really talented throughout. So as you can see there, 85, 84, 86, which is really good. Uh, offensive stats for a defenseman. He is an offensive defenseman, and uh, still he's not lacking too bad defensively. Plus, you've got a crazy uh, defensive defenseman on the other side, so they complement each other nicely. And uh, in goal, here we go. We have Victor Fast, I believe his name is. Yep. Yeah. So he's boosted right now to 87. He's normally in 85 overall, and uh, he's like I said, I've never played with him, but he's solid. There's a plus two all right now, so just imagine taking two off of every stat, 86, 86, 88, 86, 87. That's a really good defenseman. Uh, I think I picked him up for about uh, 6K, 5.5 to 6.5, in that range between five and 7,000. Uh, you can pick up your own Victor Fast. And as for backup goalie, uh, just pick up whoever. So excluding the backup goalie, this team uh, came to cost me 99900 that is excluding the uh, position changes. So it's just over 100k if you do that. And um, the extra goal, you can just pick up like a bronze one for like 100. It's not a big deal who you have in your backup. And there, there you go. You have 100,000 uh, team build. Uh, yeah, so this team's, that I can guarantee you this team's going to win you some games. I see, I use a lot of these players on most of my teams. Um, Pavelski, Stahl, Kessler, Krejci. Marshawn, Yakupov, those are all familiar faces for me, and um, yeah, so let me know if you want me to do some more of these team builds, you name a price, or if you want me to build like a, just around a player, I don't want to do team builds where like, oh, try and build like, Ottawa's roster, because I don't, uh, I, I can see why people do that, that would be pretty cool, but uh, a lot of those teams cost a lot that I would like to do. I don't have that money puck. So if you guys want me to do like a lower price one, like 25000 or a higher price one, like 250000 or a defensive build, or an offensive build, a fast team, a uh, defensive team, uh, wait, no, no, mind. Uh, a sniper team, I don't know. You guys let me know what you want me to do, and uh, I'll try and bring that to you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below to show support for this new idea, and we will see you next time.